children of blood and bone. Not going to lie, this is one of my favorite YA stories and one of my least favorite YA fantasy stories. If you are wanting to get into the genre, read this book. This will show you some of the best and the worst. But I want to focus on the positives because this book was hyped so much and it deserves that. The main idea here is that you have the main character, Zelly. Her people have been oppressed. They've had horrible things happen to them. She saw her mother murdered in front of her. She's a very morally gray character and is quite bitter, which gives her points in my book. And then we have Imari, and she is the daughter of the king who is doing the oppression. And basically, she, when seeing a friend of hers who is a slave from the oppressed race get killed, she decides, no, this is too much. And she flees, where she runs into our main character, and the magical quest begins. There are also two other characters who are kind of important. The first is Inan. Amari's brother and basically he's the main antagonist and we're going to get into him. The reason I like this story is because one it's really fast paced you're not going to be bored the magic system is great and the lore and mythology is really deep and rich and I love the fact that it comes from a real mythology this is a real religion but okay we, we gotta talk because I do have a big complaint and that is the characters. One, Zelly's brother, irrelevant. He is one of the main characters, but really he's just there to be a love interest for Imari. He doesn't have a real plot. He's he just kind of there on the quest. But now we get into Zelly and Imari. Zelly hated Imari. She hates her. I mean, rightly so. But like the entire beginning of this book, really, and for most of it, she hates her so much and I get it because she's the daughter of the person persecuting her people. However, then we have the big issue. This is where I was like, oh my gosh, are you serious? She falls in love with Enon, Amari's brother. Enon actually persecuted and murdered her people. He has done horrible things to her and she falls in love with him kind of instantly. Inan sees her memories, and he's like, oh, maybe you're not so bad after all. And she falls for him because she understands he was forced into it. Kind of? Not really? And you would think, okay, so these two characters are going to team up, and they're going to fight back. No. Inan betrays her. And I'm not going to tell you well, where, because I don't want to spoil too much, but Basically, they are constantly fighting, constantly going back and forth between, I love you, I'm going to betray you, I love you, and I'm going to betray you. And it's not for good reasons. This isn't a moral situation where they're trying to weigh their own moralities. This is just, I don't even know. It's instant love that's, like, not sticking. But it's like, chapters ago, this person murdered a bunch of your people. You know about it. And you hate this other girl because her father did this and she never even did this. And you hate her. And yet you love him. And so this really bugged a lot of people. And it bugged me personally because it's like, it's so unrealistic. You're this bitter, resentful, anti-hero who has a gray morality. And you fall in love with the person who hurt you the most because you feel sympathetic to him. I, I I think that's going to be an issue for a lot of people. And I'm sorry if that's a bit of spoilers. It's I'm not going to tell you much more about what happens. But if you really don't like instant love, you are going to be bothered. Like, I'm pretty sure whenever I read that, I was like, this, this isn't happening, right? Like, this is not the way we're going here. It's like, realistically, could you fall in love with somebody knowing they murdered a bunch of your people? And they weren't sorry for it. And they feel justified in doing it. And it's a big issue. But moving on to more positives. Again, the magic system is great. The pacing is great. Again, I really like the main character, Zelly. Besides that one little critique, I thought she was great. I even liked Amari. Tazan, who's Zelly's brother. 
basically irrelevant. Didn't do a lot. But overall, this book is a strong 7.5 to 8 for me. I really loved it. Like, this is one of those books where I was just binge reading every chapter. I was going through it. I didn't want to put it down. She did a wonderful job in telling a beautiful story, which I have to say, if you asked me what story represents the entire YA genre, this is the story. This is like YA Fantasy 101. You're not going to be disappointed. You're not going to hate this book. But you might not love it. You're going to really like it. But you, there's going to be these nagging things in the back of your mind. You're like, I really wish you didn't do that. I think she did her best work with world building and just kind of slacked on the characters. She did. Again, I really like Amari. I like Zelly. Those two, solid. Enon and Tazan just didn't work for me. They just didn't. And Tazan gets a pass, Zelly's brother, because he at least has build up with his relationship with Amari. You get it, you understand it. It's fun, it makes sense. That's okay. Again, he's not super relevant to the whole story. He just not. But you get why he's there. He has a purpose. Inan, again, he has a purpose. You know why he's there. You just really wish it was done differently. Because what happens to him is good. It's just like we go from enemies, enemies, enemies. I love you. You are my soulmate. Enemies, enemies, enemies. And it's like, and Zelly's in love with him, but he's just, I love you, I hate you, I love you, I hate you, all over the place. And it just didn't work. Maybe you loved it. Did you guys like that? Am I the only one who had an issue? Please comment below. Overall, I like this story. I would recommend this story to people. Please, give me your own thoughts. I'm genuinely curious. This is one of my favorite Y fantasy stories. Perfections and imperfections. This is a great story, so please, tell me what you thought below. Thank you. Thank you.